It's about 2.30, January 24th, 2018. I'm back at Indian Trail Town Hall to do a follow-up on a PIR that I made for emails that spans about three weeks for Councilman Jerry Morse. And I haven't heard anything back from, from the town. <clears throat> and I'm going to see the town clerk and so um, they've also informally appointed a public information officer which may have uh, changed last night at their council meeting but um, they don't like having people asking questions even if it's a uh, official business so I'm gonna go in there find out where that information is, <clears throat> how long it's going to take, and then I'm going to um, see what the reaction is going to be to. Hello. Um, can you direct me to the town clerk's uh, office? Uh, one moment. I don't want to be on video if you don't mind. This is a public space. I can record. I don't want to be recorded. It's a public space, so you can be recorded. Having a good day today? Pretty good, how about you? I'm happy that the weather's warmer. Me too. <laughs> Me Hi. Johnson, you're making my employees uncomfortable. It's a public space. I can publicly record. You can do that. Mm -hmm. but you're making all the ladies uncomfortable. This is an office space. This is public. Anything I can see in public, I can record. You're making five ladies uncomfortable, so I'm asking you to turn that I'm camera I'm not turning off. it off. It's my, it's my civic rights. Okay. My constitutional rights. All right, hold on. You want me to call Chase? Call Chase. We're asking you can, to stop. You can call him, but I'm in the right. I've been doing this way too long. According to our attorney, you're making our people. Well, then she's wrong and she needs to be fired. Okay. Go ahead and call. Yeah, call Chase. Now. Call Chase. Cut it off. Call Chase. Okay. You want to cut it off or I'll call Chase? Call Chase. Okay. But can you cut it off until Chase? No. 
Okay, I'm, keeping this, I'm keeping for, for, for the record for documentation of our engagement. Go ahead, Jim Goldman and Paul <clears throat> Kagan. And I can tell her my five ladies are uncomfortable. We need somebody right here immediately. Besides, there's a camera over there, there's a camera up there. That's correct. Yep, we're all being recorded. We sit over here out of the way. Oh, <laughs> Yes, that's the that's the yeah, system. Yeah, system. Wait outside. I don't want it to be on camera. Everything will be all right. I'm just waiting for the town clerk, but uh, um, Sadek decided to call Chase. So, but I'm, I'm exercising my constitutional right to record uh, any encounter I have with a government official out in the public. So, um, they're trying to get Chase to, uh, no pun intended, chase me out. Right, but that doesn't trump my constitutional rights.
Look, one thing, one thing you don't know is I'm a certified paralegal. I know the constitutional law. That's where I was trained in. I also know as, as, as a member of the media, I have the right to, to publicly record. What are you accomplishing? You're making people... The, this, is, this is for documentation purposes of my encounters with public officials. We are in the public. You can't trespass the eyes, and you can't kick me out of a public building. I'm not doing anything illegal. And for the viewers here, my hand is shaking out because I'm nervous. It's, just, it's a handheld camera, so my arm's getting kind of tired. But uh, everyone's afraid of cameras. Planning, permitting, customer service, tax office. Everyone's gone even though there's a camera there. There's a camera up there. And then there's another one over there. I'll find it. Oh, there it is. So, public building, perfectly legal to record. And even though this camera's running everywhere, everyone's run off into a corner somewhere. And anyone that's been watching my YouTube channel, Truth You Can Handle, they know that I record government meetings and never had an issue about it before. Of course, they can't. So, now they're bringing in a deputy. It's not Chase. The Chase is our lieutenant. He's the one in charge of our uh, town as a part of the contract for Indian Trail, North Carolina. So now, he's going to try to explain to me why I can't record because I'm making people nervous. But uh, uh, as a lot of liberty-minded people already understand, um, people's comfort doesn't trump your constitutional rights. There's the uh, employees back there peeking around, seeing if the camera's still here.
And you can go back a couple of years. I recorded another encounter where I had asked for the town clerk. It's on video. It was at our old administration building, and I did a PIR there as well to inspect some documents. So this isn't my first rodeo. And there was no issue back then either. And even the deputies hiding from the camera. And I've got nothing against the deputies either. Uh, a few years ago, I did a constitutional care package for them, gave it to the sheriff himself. He and I have a good rapport, so um, I don't think that there's going to be any issue there as well. Um, the sheriff of Union County, North Carolina, is Sheriff Eddie Cathy. He's a really good guy. So, uh, um, I don't think there's going to be an issue there, but again, all of this is, it's just a result of me wanting to do a follow-up on my PIR. That's all it is. Mm. Hello, Deputy, how are you doing? Hey. Deputy Rogers? Yeah, they want you to leave. Well, I'm here to do a follow-up on no, a PIR, no. and it's my constitutional right to to no, uh, record my... If, yes, it is. Not if you're stalking or harassing. I, who, well, first of all, I'm not stalking, and I'm not harassing. That doesn't fit the legal definition. He's over the building, and he wants you to leave. Sir. And I am a citizen of, of the United States. Sir. I am a veteran. I am also a member Sir. of the press. Sir, you need please to leave call, right Please call sheriff. You need to leave right now. No, I have the right to talk to the sheriff. No, you need to leave. I have a right to talk to the sheriff. Captain Cobble's on the way over here. Okay, let him come and over. You're going to end up going to jail for something. Let him silly. come over. How long have you been, how long have you come been on. with the force? Outside. Well, I'll come outside, but uh, how long have you been with the force? It is my business. You're an officer. You swore an oath to the Constitution. I'm a veteran, can, so did I. You can video out here if you'd like. I can report inside but, any public building. No, they don't want you back in there. That's not the law. That's not the Constitution. It's not they settled. Don't want you back in there Court law you know says that I can problem. record in the public. The, um, That's not harassment. I am just simply getting in the PIR uh, update. That's all it is. And you don't have any authority. And you, and if you throw me out or have me arrested, there will be a lawsuit. There will well, be a lawsuit. Just the camera. I have a legal opportunity to to record all engagement with public officials. It's settled court uh, cases. And it is the part of the Constitution, part of the free well, press. We have the right to protect our press too, Jonathan. Here, Michael, go in my car. In the back seat are my press credentials. Go get those. In the back seat? Uh-huh. And I'll talk to Chase. So there you go. I don't give you permission to release that. I don't have to give you permission on the public. There's, there's no expectation of privacy in public. And you are a public officer in the course of your duties. Hey, Michael, it's the, it's the smaller one. Uh huh. In the back seat. So, they don't like being recorded, but I'll record here. They can't trespass the eyes. So, I can look from the outside. If I can't be on the inside, then I'll be on the outside. The smaller one with the print on it. It should say my credentials on it. Yep. Well, I never expected this. Of, I've been doing this for at least seven years. And I never expected that they would do this. That's the uh, town manager. 
So, see, I'm on the outside. Now he's going to try to try to intimidate me. Oh, he gave me a nice little wave like see ya. See you in jail kind of little wave like a dismissal. All right, do me a favor. Just hold that for me. I'm going to capture it on on print. All right. There are my press credentials. And if you do me a favor, would you read that just so that uh, they can hear it? Jonathan Bear is a reporter, photographer, and a member in good standing with the Constitution, First Amendment, Press Association, CFAPA.org, issue date November 10th, 2017. And then can you describe the back? You don't have to read everything. Describe what's on the back. I'll read it verbatim. Do not hinder, exclude, or block the view of this journalist in the exercise of long-established and court-recognized First Amendment right to be present at and to photograph or film any event in public place. See Perry Education Association versus Perry Local Educators Association, 1983. First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances, enacted by Congress on December 15th, 1791. Any officer or public official who deprives another of their First Amendment rights is personally and departmentally subject to suit for civil damages for deprivation of rights, per 42 U.S.C. 1983. Every person who under color of law deprives another person of his civil rights is liable for civil damages. See Pearson v. Ray, 386 U.S. 547, 1967, a U.S. Supreme Court case. Also see Monell v. Department of Social Services, wherein the U.S. Supreme Court held that municipalities and local governments can be sued if the action was attributable to an official policy. Law enforcement officers, public officials, and public employees do not enjoy absolute immunity. Thank you. Also, uh, uh, do me a favor. Um, uh, tell my viewers, uh, how, how long have I been doing this? Uh, Mr. Bear's been doing this for eight years now. Okay. And then, um, how long have I been recording uh, meetings, council meetings? Uh, as long as I can remember, probably almost the same amount of time, but close to eight years. Okay. And have I, oh, have I done any uh, camera work before? Not that I'm aware of, no. What about when we went to see Peggy Piontek? Uh, when I did a PIR? years ago, when he did a request, correct. And I have that on YouTube, correct? It's on YouTube, open mm -hmm. and transparent, correct. And uh, can you describe what happened in that video, just briefly? Oh, about asking for the PR, and she was, uh, did her best to avoid re uh, providing the information that was requested upon. Uh, she also said that the town manager was in a meeting, and it would be a while before he would be available to answer any questions, at which uh, later on she came back to say that he would be longer than anticipated for him to come back to answer any questions. And until this time, have had any problems? None whatsoever. And would you say I have a, a good rapport with the sheriff? Yes, you do. So you've also interviewed him on, on at least one occasion uh, in his office. Yes, you do have a good uh, rapport with the uh, sheriff of Union County. Okay, at this time, because of, of my memory and um, battery time on the camera, I am going to put it on pause. Uh, we will continue this as soon as the deputy shows up.